look forward to the video version of this edited down like I was planning on doing. So the trippiest fucking thing just happened. I really wanted to make a video about opening up and being more expressive. And it was just like this big ball of rant that's been building up at me for like building up inside of me for like seven fucking years. And I just like started recording. I just hit record and I was just like bearing my soul recording this video. And then after like 49 minutes, I think it was, Maybe, yeah, like 49 fucking minutes, I realized that I've been live streaming this whole time. Like, the warm-up shit, like, the, the awkward word stumbles. Like, I haven't watched the replay yet. This just happened moments ago. I don't even know, like, what stupid shit I said on camera. And as somebody who struggles with being embarrassed, like, that's a struggle for me. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited. This was such a cool thing. Like, I wanted this to be, like, a fucking, like, coming out as a YouTuber fucking video. Like, it's, I don't know, that was the first thing that came to mind. Coming out as a YouTuber, you know, just like, mm, I want to be more loud. I want to be more YouTuber-y. I don't, I don't want to sell out, but I want to be, like, the best fucking version of myself. And that, that's, you know, I was going to do that in a video. And then I find out that I was live streaming the fucking video. And it's just like, so like shocking and perfect. This is what happened. This is the video version. If you're watching this after the fact, so please <laughs> enjoy. It has been edited down. If you want to see the full thing, it'll have the same thumbnail as this. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. It'll have the same thumbnail as this, but it'll be like a 55 minute stream video version. So you can watch that. I'll have it linked at the end of this video in an annotation. There you go. All right. Love you chaps. Beard heart. Enjoy the wackiness. It's beautiful. I can't be, I couldn't be happier that this accident happened. Bob Ross moment. Happy accidents. Love you guys. Enjoy. And right. Okay, looks good. Well, hello, chaps. Wolf Gore here. Welcome back. So, our topic for today. Uh, I'm trying to get my mind around the idea of why YouTubers are loud, right? You know, the big, really popular ones, your PewDiePie's, your Markiplier's, your name your big YouTuber, especially on the gaming channels, you know, they're really loud, they're really eccentric. You know, that's something I've been trying to get my mind around not only for the past two years that I've been on YouTube, but for years and years before that, because I've been a huge fan of YouTube for, I don't know, maybe seven, seven years I've been on the platform and it's been like my go-to source of entertainment when I'm not at work, when I'm by myself and trying to be entertained. Like I watch more YouTube than I play video games and that's been going on for a very, very long time. And now of course I'm a creator on the platform. So a huge question on my mind for all this time has been, you know, why are these big YouTubers loud why are they so eccentric like i had mixed feelings about it back in the day it really it really used to like piss me off it would rub me the wrong way i was just like oh they're all fucking fake they're so loud nobody's that loud and as i've gotten more and more into youtube and sort of researched as i call it uh, i do research every night for a couple hours on youtube it's really good for my career <laughs> but as i've researched these youtubers more and more and uh, even gotten into it myself, the thing I've come to realize is that they're not being fake. They're just uh, developing a skill. They've developed a skill of being, uh, well, being open. They're, they're just being open. Like, yes, they're being eccentric on camera. That's because every YouTuber is at heart an entertainer. Well, not most of us, but <laughs> every YouTuber is an entertainer. They have this, uh, innate desire built into them to entertain people like if you know people i i would be considered like a host among everybody that i know like i'm i always have people over i have kickbacks every week and back in my party days i threw the parties you know i like to entertain you know that's where that comes from i like to be an entertainer and youtubers like to entertain even if they're introverts like myself and you know are shy a lot of the time they are at heart an entertainer because you can be an introvert or an extrovert and still be an entertainer. It's just the way you express that is differently. But um, yeah, I think I think we're all entertainers at heart. And uh, a lot of the people who think YouTubers are being fake because it's not something that they personally find relatable are just introverts. Um, 
are just introverts or maybe they're experiencing maybe they're an extrovert and they're you know experiencing a depressed period in their life where you know they're like oh that person's so loud and and social oh, they must be they must be fucking faking it there's there's clearly something wrong with them when in reality they're just being negative because they're caught in the middle of a depressive battle and they're upset at the idea that oh, look at how happy this person is look at how eccentric they are when i feel like this it's not right so they just kind of take it out on them and uh yeah that's pretty crazy because i know i've done that in the past and to go from having that perspective to being where i am now i'm like oh shit i get it like i get it and when i felt that way in the past about certain youtubers i was just full of shit i'm sorry but I, I was i was full of shit let me give you a specific example markiplier markiplier he's a big youtuber he just hit 20 million viewer or subscribers on youtube uh really really successful handsome beautiful wonderful man but i fucking i hated him for years and the truth is i'd never even watched a full one of his videos but i fucking knew i'd walk into conversations and into the comments section and shit like that and be like oh i fucking know that markiplier's a dummy i know he's fake blah, blah, blah. look at his numbers look at look at how nice his lighting is like he has to be fake nobody has that but it's like i was just full of shit like i was just criticizing the good things about markiplier but because it made me feel emotionally valid <laughs> i i thought it was like right i thought i was right because it made me feel emotionally valid but i was just full of shit and the truth is i eventually watched one of markiplier's videos about <clears throat> maybe two years ago boy i'm really getting into this my voice is getting all husky let me grab some water mm. uh, my cousin he started a little youtube channel like mine and uh, I was looking through his uh, his subscriptions. This was a couple years ago, back when we had both just started. And uh, he was subscribed to Markiplier, and I was like, oh, my YouTube channel's better. I'm cooler because I'm not subscribed to Markiplier. And then I was like, you know what, wait, like me and this guy go way back. We were really close when we were kids, like best friends hung out on the weekend all the time. And I was like, no, this is my cousin that we're talking about here. Although I guess he has a YouTube channel, so I'm sure he doesn't mind if I at least share that. Uh, Gibbles and Bits on YouTube. Check him out. He does some uh, Breath of the Wild stuff most recently, and it's really cool. He's a fantastic editor. Like, it's unbelievable how good he is at editing with how little time he's actually spent on his channel. Like, it's really shocking. Like, if he put the time into it, he could go places. He is such a fantastic editor. It's, it's insane. But, um, yeah, it was like, you know, this is my cousin. I respect this guy. We've, we go way back. Like, He's subscribed to Markiplier. Maybe I should actually go watch one of his videos. I finally fucking did. And what do you know? I loved it. It was just like a behind the scenes vlog. The title was just like, hey guys, we need to catch up or something. And fucking Markiplier of all things cries in the video, which it's kind of a running joke on the channel that he does that. He does it like maybe a couple times a year. It's not like he's just blubbering all over the place, but, and it just hit me. I was like, holy shit. This guy just like opened up to bring it all back opened up that's the skill is opening up he just opened up on camera and just let it all out and just showed all this emotion and and love and compassion for his community and for himself and for his channel and i was just blown away and i fucking smashed that subscribe button i tell you what like one video not even all the way through and i was like well i'm coming back so you know to go from that perspective of like fuck this guy to appreciating him you know after actually experiencing his content i think the next logical step for me is to become more like him like i don't want to imply the wrong thing like i want to copy his channel or like the way he does things or like his numbers or his like little you know his performances i'm not talking about that but become more like him you know emotion emotionally like spiritually and like really really get behind my work and open up completely and just like be that loud youtuber that i want to be be the best entertainer that i can be just like open up fucking like scream my head off when i'm playing slenderman and i do do this somewhat but i still feel after two years like i'm totally choking myself off like i'm not fully being myself and I don't feel like I've ever fully been myself on this channel. 
or, you know, like even rarely in my real life, like, I feel like I'm always holding myself back. Just like, nah. there's always this voice. that's like, like about everything, about everything. There's this fucking voice. Just like, and it's just like, shut the fuck up. You stupid voice. Like, I don't care. I just want to be myself. I just want to be happy. I want to be expressive. I want to be open. I want to do that more in my real life. Like who among us doesn't want those things? Like really, even the most cynical, angry fucking keyboard warrior troll is like inside, not outside, but inside is like, yeah, I'd fucking like it if I could just be like more open and allow myself to express emotions and, and share that with the people that I love and be more passionate about life and in my actions and about things that I'm passionate about, you know, it, it just, it just makes sense to me. It's so obvious that I've missed it all this time. And God, what even brought me, there's so many different stories that I could tell. I've been sitting here for like two hours thinking about making this video and like watching Markiplier videos and stuff, but I may do this in like a multiple part series. This, there may be other videos involved because I have so many ideas of things that I want to say that I don't think they're all going to fit into this video. So I may do multiple videos on this topic that I wrote down in my video journal. This is an, an example of like things I'm starting to do to really like get serious about YouTube and stuff. Like I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve videos written down. And I've had this, I started writing in this about a week ago. And um, yeah, I'm just getting really serious about it. But I totally just went off on a tangent. So there's a lot of different things that I've been thinking about tonight, examples that I could put in this video of what led me to making this video and sort of having this epiphany real realization type of thing and wanting to be more expressive and uh, more, uh, more open on my channel and in real life. And you know, uh, you guys know Mechanical from the channel. Uh, some of you do. He's He was our first moderator. The first stream I ever had, I was totally nervous. It was just like a spur of the moment thing where I was like, oh shit, my PS4 has a stream button. So I kind of fiddled around with the settings and I was like, let's just see what happens. Like, let's see if it works. Nobody will show up. I'll cancel it after 10 minutes. Then I'll get some people hyped up to come hang out with me the first time. So I fucking start my first stream. It's Bloodborne. It was on a character called beast mode i believe was that the first stream I, I did a test stream i did a test stream uh with no 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 no. that was with my new condenser mic nat sherman explained and fun with the new condenser mic that was a milestone stream for me too because that was the first one with my new condenser mic but my actual first stream, I pretty sure was a Bloodborne character called Beast Mode, and we did a full playthrough with him. And yeah, I'm pretty sure Beast Mode came before Dr. Nat Sassman. If any of you watching this, I know there's a couple of you <laughs> watching this who will remember these characters. Fucking, you guys rock. You guys rock so hard, you rock my socks. I love your faces, Beard Heart. You guys have the specialist place in my heart. Like, fuck. Uh, but yes, back to my point. I'm, I'm just walking down memory lane here but yeah mechanical was there for my very very first stream a character called beast mode i was still in like the main town in bloodborne with all the yarnamites surrounding the big werewolf you know burning it that first main square that you come to everybody knows it in bloodborne that's played it and fucking mecha shows up and <laughs> he had his real name <laughs> and everything like he wasn't mechanical yet i mean he was but he didn't know it <laughs> uh yeah he was just like hey dude what's up and he just hung out with me and he was there for me like the first several months of streaming you know he was my first moderator he's he was he's been there for me to bounce ideas off of and to give me ideas and criticism since the very beginning like he was the first person to ever come to one of my streams there was only one person that can ever say that and that was Shit, sorry, that was Mecca. I'll beep that. I'll bleep that. <gasps> I've never bleeped anything before, but I'm telling myself I have to do it, so I'm going to do it in the edi editing. This is how we learn. This is how YouTubers learn. You, you, you commit to something while you're recording, and then the editor you is like, fuck, I got to figure out how to bleep something. 
See, I've told you I figured it out. I didn't right now, though. Um, yeah, so Mecca, uh, just to give you a little bit of backstory on Mecca there, but um, he gave me some advice once, and I swear I'm getting back to my point, I swear. He gave me some advice once that was like, I, I don't remember the words exactly, but I'm gonna do my best. Always be yourself, like stay true to yourself, I think is what he said. Always be yourself, stay true to yourself. But he said something else that freaked me out. And he was like, yo, but if you ever become one of those like sellout YouTubers, I'm out. Like, I'm not gonna hang around your channel if you're being like weird and fake and shit. And that scared me. I was like, oh fuck, I don't wanna be one of those fake guys. But at this time, I still thought Markiplier was fake. So it's like, you see how it all comes together. Like my mindset has shifted over time to like, I used to think that being like Markiplier was being fake. But now that I'm here, I've come this far on this journey with you guys. And I've had this insane experience of like starting a real YouTube community, a small YouTube community, but uh, you know, it's like trying to start a fire. Like you got to sit there with a fucking stick for days. And then once it actually goes, it's a whole different experience that not that many people have had. I mean, a good number, but by the overall population, not that many people have actually started YouTube communities. And it's fucking wild. Let me tell you, it's, it's so fucking cool. It's like, I don't have kids, but I assume that this is like in the same ballpark, not like I know kids are like the most beautiful thing. It's life changing. I believe you that it's more special than having starting a YouTube community. Okay. So like, don't even, don't even go down to the keyboard and be like, blah, 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 blah. okay. Having kids is like more special, but this is like just below having fucking kids. Like it is the coolest fucking thing. It's, uh, I can't, mm, mm. Fucking love being a YouTuber. Yeah, baby. Oh God, that felt so good. That felt so good. Just like yelling and being loud and expressive. Fuck. Fuck. I want a soundproof. I want a fully soundproof off office so that I don't have to worry about being super loud. Oh my God. I just, <gasps> oh my God. Am I live? <laughs> Are you joking me right now? Holy shit. No. No, I'm not actually live right now. What? Okay, so on my OBS, it says I've been recording for 18 minutes, and it says I've been live for 49 minutes. Have I seriously been live this whole time? Holy shit, are there actually people watching this right now? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I thought this was just a recording oh my god oh my god no there's no way there's no way there's no fucking way people are actually watching this right now holy shit what about if we go to creator studio live streaming i'm not live streaming i didn't hit the i didn't hit the start streaming button holy shit holy shit we're streaming oh my god that is so fucking embarrassing that is so fucking embarrassing. But, oh, it's perfect. It's fucking perfect. Are you kidding me? Like, I was just like bearing my soul. I was bearing my soul in this video. I don't even know what I've fucking been saying because I've been in editor brain this whole time. Like, oh, I can clean this up. God, I bet there've been some embarrassing moments. Oh, fuck. Oh my God. This is literally like one of the most bananas things that's ever happened to me. Um, well, hey guys, hi, I'm not sure who of you maybe didn't know that I didn't know I was streaming, but just to be clear, if I haven't made that abundantly clear in the past two minutes that I've been freaking out, I did not know I was live streaming. I've done this before, but it was on a much, much less personal level. <laughs> that is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. Well, uh... Where were we? What was I talking about? Mecca. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Sorry. That's just like, just imagine you thought you were alone and there were actually nine people in your apartment watching you masturbate. <laughs> you know, that's what just happened to me. That's what just happened to me. But it's not a, no, because that'd be kind of weird and creepy. This was just shocking. 
This was as shocking as that. Anyways, so back to what I was talking about. Back to what I was talking about. Um, Mecca. Fucking Mecca told me. Oh, I see weird hearts. Hi. Hi, guys. Um, yeah, Mecca told me, like, don't be a fake YouTuber, right? Like, don't be one of those fake YouTubers. Which, what I now understand is, like, a Jake Paul, right? Or, but no, it's not a Markiplier. You know, it's not like, it's not one of those people, one of those nice fucking like good people that are just being open. He was saying like, don't be a cunt, but I took it the wrong way. And this whole time I've been confused, but I just like had this epiphany that, you know, just like, don't be a Jake Paul, but it's okay to be a Markiplier. Like you can, you can be loud and expressive and fucking scream like a little bitch and shit. And it's still cool. And you can have awkward moments where you think you're recording a video that you don't know if you're going to have to post. And then you find out that you're streaming and it actually turns out that it's awesome because it kind of perfectly captures the whole point is that, you know, it's all about opening up. I just want to open up. I just want to be fucking open. I want to wear my purple fucking uh, <laughs> shirt, even though it's really tight and kind of gay and not feel like weird about that. I just want to be open. I just want to do what I want to do and not worry about it and trip and get all caught up in my head with like that little depressed voice. That's always like, mm, fucking, you can't be you. You can't be you. You can't be yourself. You can't be open. People will judge you. People will be confused. Like, look at how positive the response is. You know, it's like, I was just being open and it's not like anybody's fucking trolling me and being like, Oh, shut up. Why are you being weird? Everybody's just like showing me love. It's perfect. This is perfect guys. This is, this is like actually perfect. I'm going to remember this happy accident as Bob Ross would put it. This is just one of those happy little accidents for the rest of my life. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think I'm out. I think I'm out of stuff to talk about, but, uh, I'm going to, I think I'm going to end the stream now, guys, and I'm going to go back because I have your whole chat log and I'm going to go back um, 54 minutes and watch you guys be like, dude, we can hear you. What are you talking about? This is, this is so incredible. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love your faces. Look forward to the video version of this edited down like I was planning on doing. Uh, and you guys are so dear to me i love you all very very much beard heart like subscribe share i need your help to grow i need your guys's help to grow and you know if you like and subscribe it fucking helps a lot if you share this on your facebook or something that helps even more if there was ever a video that i've done so far that i was like hey please share this one this one fucking like nailed my point it would be either share this or share the video version of this that i'm going to post uh either tomorrow this weekend or monday sometime in the next four days maybe sooner just because this turned out really cool and i'm really happy and uh i can't wait to see <laughs> the video version of this. this is gonna be great so yeah please share guys i love your faces so much i look forward to reading your comments and if you guys want to leave comments on the video version of this that's about to get uploaded in the next hour i would be very happy to you know just sit here and respond to your comments i will be here at my computer if you guys want to just chat with me in our comments section and that would actually help really blow the video up if we could have a conversation in that format so thank you guys i love your faces i'll see you for the bloodborne stream tomorrow Bye bye